Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a day in the life video. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning, it is so good to see you. I haven't seen you guys in a minute and I thought I would take you through a typical day in the life of how life is going right now. First thing I do when I get up and get the kids out the front door, wash my face and get ready to go. Yes, I cut my hair. I feel like I needed to change. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna head in and get my makeup going. I love using a brand called Typology. I've shared it many times on this channel, but if you are looking for that very dewy, effortless, um, full coverage, I highly recommend checking them out. I'll link the products I use down below. I just get so many compliments. And now that I'm in my 40s, um, I'm just looking for a much higher end product. So I really love those. So if you're looking for a great makeup routine, I will link the things I use down below. I love using their daily moisturizer and then I use their vitamin C cream. And then I use, they have like a little tiny concealer and then I just use their BB cream that I can put all over. And I just feel like it gives me the coverage I need but it's not overwhelming and it's also like super dewy. So once I get all that going, I will do um, just a very basic makeup routine and then I'll get ready and I head out to work. I'll take you along the whole day with me so you can see everything that goes on. One of the mascara products that I've really been loving for the last couple months is the Clinique uh, one. I will link it down below. And I love using just a very simple little bronzer that's great for blending, just to bring a little color to the cheeks. Um, I've really, really tried to stay out of the sun over the years. And I just find that just a little bit goes a long way. And then I, since cutting my hair, you guys, my morning routine has been cut down by like an hour. I don't curl my hair. I just straighten it a very little bit. Um, it just feels so good. It just feels like so refreshing to have shorter hair. I feel like it ages me a bit, but I really don't care. It's so nice to not have to worry about it. But here's how the makeup turned out. Just so dewy and beautiful, grateful coverage. I'm really loving those products. Now I am dressed and ready to go to work. I'm going to make my bed. I try to do this every morning. It's either my husband will do it or I will do it. He does the full morning routine with all the kids. So typically I do this because he does lunches, gets them ready, takes takes them to school, and then I do uh, after school into the evening. So that's kind of how we have divvied up responsibilities and it's worked really well for us. The next thing I do is head into the kitchen and get ready for all of the things I need to take to work. If you wanna say hi to Pepe or baby Henry, give this video a thumbs up. Every single morning I like to gather my things like lunch and I obviously, I always use a liquid IV for my waters. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but liquid IV goes beyond the ordinary uh, hydration. They are the number one hydration brand in America and they made hydrating, replenishing and empowering your body easier with these to-go packs. I love them. I put them in my purse. I take them on the plane. I take them every time I travel. Um, this liquid IV hydration routine should be part of every single day. If you're not familiar with liquid IV, this is the fastest way to hydrate. There are no artificial sweeteners or colors. There are eight vitamins and nutrients and 100% of four of the B vitamins you need, one of which is B12, which gives you that energy girl. So whether you're running a marathon or running late to work like I am, you definitely want to reach for a hydration multiplier such as liquid IV. Their sticks are easy on the go. I take them to the gym. I take them to work. I take them everywhere. They help me stay hydrated. So this fall, if you need some hydration, whether you are going to work or whether you are going to work out or whether you are getting your decorating on, I highly recommend throwing one of these packets into some water and it really does make a difference. Um, I remember when I got super sick once, my doctor said, you, I said, I'm drinking lots of water. And he said, water is not all you need. You have to have electrolytes. And ever since then, I never leave home without it. If you guys want to check out Liquid IV, you can go in the description box down below and use my code Lauren Nicholson and start your hydration journey with me today. Thank you to Liquid IV for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump into the rest of our day fully hydrated. 
Once I get to work, I typically like to have a cup of coffee. I always have my liquid IV in the morning because coffee really dehydrates you. So it's great to start with your hydration first. And then I jump into emails. I am a GM of a winery here in Napa Valley if you're new here. And my days are typically really packed of all kinds of projects, um, working with my team here and so many other things. I try to share as much of this job as possible with you guys because it's just so incredible. The view outside of my office is beautiful. So I'm here pretty early in the morning. I get all of my work done and then I will head it to the gym typically. Um, or if not, I will uh, do a nice walk in the vineyard by my house. Uh, that's how I kind of like to spend my day. So I will, this particular day, I will head to the gym, do a really quick workout, and then we're going to come home and I'll show you how my night routine goes, which is really, really simple. I have decided this particular evening, it was very chilly out, which was really lovely. It is now 106 degrees. Mother nature is all over the place right now, but I thought it'd be really nice to put a simmer pot on. If you guys aren't familiar with the simmer pot, it's basically just apples, oranges, and then some all season, all spice seasonings and things like that. I'm going to be using some apples that were a bit over the hill and I decided some oranges that I just didn't think were very good for the kids anymore. So I was like, oh, perfect. I'll make a simmer pot with these. So I add apples, oranges, a little bit of clove and some cinnamon sticks. I like to put in some pumpkin spice that I get from Trader Joe's in here, um, a little bit of ginger, and I just mix all that up. It smells so good, you guys. Every time I make this, I always want to drink it. It is way too bitter to drink, but my gosh, it smells so good. I also found a vanilla bean. I don't remember when I purchased it, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw that right in the pot. And then just like a little dash of a bourbon uh, vanilla, uh, just a little flavoring, and it smells so good. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. I will write it down in the description box if you guys want to. It's so simple to make, and it makes your house smell so enchanting and like it's fall. And I always tell you guys, like my favorite part about decorating or doing any type of homemade is just the way the home makes me feel. This feels amazing. Once that's done, I'm going to get started with dinner. On the way home, I thought I haven't made meatballs in a really long time, so I decided I'm going to make some homemade meatballs and sauce. This is a very simple recipe. All you have to do to get started is chop up some onions. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic and just kind of stew that down in a Dutch oven. While that's happening, I'm also gonna chop up some fresh basil um, I picked from the garden. My garden is just now coming to the end and probably in a week or so, I'm going to have to rip her out. To make my meatballs, I like to add some panko, a little milk, let that sit and absorb um, for about five minutes. I also add some Italian seasonings. And then once that's had a moment to absorb, I like to add in our meats. This is just the way I've always done it. You can try any which way that makes sense to you. If you want it to be a little more crunchy, I know my mom always used breadcrumbs, but I never have like baguettes laying around. <laughs> so I always use panko, but you could try either way. Um, once I have the uh, onions and garlic smelling fragrant and a little translucent, I will add some tomatoes in. I like to use a 28 ounce can. You could actually double this if you'd like. Um, I'm going to stew this down for a bit and then I always add in a little bit of tomato paste. I feel like the tomato paste will always kind of bring up the thickness and create that really rich flavor. Um, you can also add in a little bit of chicken stock if you feel like it just needs to simmer down some more. Then I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning and we're just going to let that cook for a little bit on a very low heat uh, while we make our meatballs.
Once you get everything mixed up, you can just go ahead and make them in the sizes that you desire. I am going to put these on a baking sheet and bake them for a little bit. I'm using gloves today. I've actually not done this before, but gosh, it was really nice for the cleanup. I'm gonna do this from now on. I just found a huge box of these. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna put these gloves on. And uh, it was really nice cut down on the oily fingers, that's for sure. So throw those in. I'm gonna tend to my pasta sauce now. I'm adding a little butter in here. I just feel like the butter cuts down on the acidity and just really brings in a creamy flavor. Uh, and then I'm gonna add in that can of tomato paste. Again, you don't have to use this. It really thickens it up. Since I'm going to be dropping the cooked uh, meatballs into this, I wanted to make sure it was nice and thick because the fat from this these meatballs will actually kind of absorb into the pasta sauce. It's very good, you're gonna love it. It reminds me of a dish I used to have when I was a kid and I just love that. So the last thing I'm going to do is make a little dessert. I thought it'd be fun for the kids and I've just really been looking for a pumpkin spice something. So I'm gonna be making a little pumpkin spice muffins. This is super easy to make. All you need to do is um, get a box of pumpkin cake mix and then my trick is to take a little bit of cream cheese, an egg, whip that up and I add a little pumpkin spice and we're gonna add that into the muffin. It just creates it's kind of like um, a creamy base in the middle. It is so good when you break it open, it just melts in your mouth. The last thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of caramel sauce from Trader Joe's on top. And oh my gosh, it is so delicious. Couldn't be an easier and quicker way to delight your entire family or even make these and share them with friends. Now that that's in the oven, I'm gonna drop our meatballs into the sauce that we made. I've got pasta going. This is so delicious and very simple. If you are a busy mom like me and you're looking to do um, a really easy recipe, I highly recommend doing meatballs and making your own sauce. I always find that the store-bought sauce is good, it works, but I love a homemade and it's actually quite simple. Once you have that done, go ahead and add your pasta in. I let that sit for a couple minutes. I always love to put some Parmesan cheese on top. Um, mix that in as well. Um, add some Parmesan cheese to your meatballs uh, when you're making them. It's really, really good. My mom used to add broccoli, which I always thought was funny, but it really did um, make a great flavor. Now that that's done, I'm going to plate everything up. At this time, we typically sit down as a family. Um, I find that sitting down as a family, I know it's hard, especially, again, if you're a mom, you've got young kids, you've got kids of different ages, I know that it's tough, but if you can, carve out those 30 minutes to sit down with your family, talk about your day. It becomes an anchor for you and your children. We have kids ranging between eight and 13, and we all still very much look forward to that. There are often times that my husband and I discover some of the most important things going on in the kids' lives during dinner, uh, or at Lovey's at night when we go in to say goodnight to them. So please, if you don't already, try to have a formal traditional family dinner I think you will find it to be very fruitful for your family here is how our muffins turned out I added some of that cinnamon bun topping that I got from Trader Joe's only $1.99 guys it was so good the perfect dessert what a beautiful day thank you so much for joining me on today's video and if you haven't already pick up some liquid IV get hydrated with me Let's get ourselves in the best shape so that we can have the best Christmas season to come. I cannot wait to start decorating. Hit the subscribe button or else you're going to miss out. Okay, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.